Okay, in this video we will continue with section 1.3, but examples part two. So we're continuing here with example number three. This one states, find the limit, and it says the limit as x approaches four of the function, the square root of x plus five minus three all over x minus four. Now again, we have the same issue as we did with example two. We cannot do direct sub because if I plug a four into the denominator, I'll get a zero in the denominator, which will eventually be a um, indeterminate form, okay? Or an undefined number. Therefore, in order for me to um, evaluate this, I will have to algebraically manipulate it. Now, the easiest way to manipulate functions that have square roots is to use the conjugate, okay? Since the numerator is the term that contains the square root, I will be taking the conjugate of the numerator. So the conjugate would be the first term, which is x plus five, and the second term, three, but with a different sign in the middle. Since this is minus three, I will be using plus three. And then I will multiply the same thing at the bottom. Therefore, not changing the value of this expression, just changing the look of the expression, okay? So when you multiply this out, this is a difference of squares factored out. You end up with, and if you just wanna foil it out, you can. You end up with the square root of x plus five squared. Then you end up with positive three times the square root of x plus five then negative three times square root of x plus five, and then you end up with negative nine. All over, and here I'm not going to foil it out um, because what I want eventually to happen is this term that was causing a zero down here to go away. So let's see what we have when we just rewrite these two factors together in the denominator. So in the numerator, you have plus three square root of five and minus three square root of five. Well, those two terms um, will cancel each other out. And also, when you have the square root and a square, those are going to undo each other. So what I'm gonna end up with in my numerator is just x plus five and then minus nine my denominator is still going to have both of those factors. And if I continue reducing what I have in the numerator or simplifying it, I will get x minus four in the numerator. And then we notice that this will cancel with this factor, leaving us with just a one It'll reduce to a one over x square root of x plus five plus three. Now I can try direct sub. So now when I sub that four in for x, I get the square root of nine plus three. The square root of nine is three plus three. So I get one over six. So here we had to algebraically manipulate it before we could do direct sub to come up with the um, solution.